So has anyone seen the queen of publicity? Isn't this nice? A little mini reunion in the courtyard. Let's do it again in 10 years, shall we? Amanda, do you have a moment? Does this mean you're here for more than hot boys and skinny jeans? <laughs> Ellison's told me about the WPK payout in my name. And I had visions of vintage Amanda Woodward embezzling money from D&D advertising. I don't know what you're trying to accuse me of, especially since all the jobs that made your career came from D&D and WPK. But I guess that generosity is lost on you. You don't have a generous bone in your body. But that's about to change. I mean, unless you want everyone to know that you've probably bled your own company dry by now. Make the check out to Global Hunger Project. Oh, it's 8 a.m. on a Saturday and you are in the office. I guess that's what it takes to be on top. It's too late to charm your way out of this one, Ella. I know you're the embezzler. What? After what you told me last night, I audited your accounts, and it appears that you've stolen hundreds of thousands of dollars. Do you really think that you can get away with this? I overheard you talking to Joe. You set me up. How much did you drink last night? God knows what you heard. <sighs> and I looked up to you. You weren't just my boss. You were the prototype of everything I wanted in my career. But you're nothing but a thief. Who's a thief? With all the money missing from WPK's coffers, there's a lot of jail time at stake. I have never stolen anything before in my life. Then I'll consider this your first offense. So you better work real hard to make amends. Because you, my dear, do not have the curves to pull off a prison jumpsuit. Yes, Mr. Lau, I can have the painting for you as soon as today. I'll call you the minute I have it in my hands. Tell me something. When you tracked Augie down, how did you get him to tell you where he left the painting? Did you pay him or did you sleep with him? Sydney? Who else is going to tell you all the things you don't want to hear? You're not real. Go away. You can't get rid of me that easily. Just watch me. Careful. You're going to want to be razor sharp when you break into Dr. Sixpack's apartment and search his closet. Don't you worry, Sydney. I'm not a perpetual screw up like you. I get what I want. I wouldn't be so cocky. Welcome back, Amanda. We were all wondering where you disappeared to. Is that why you broke into these offices in the middle of the night? <laughs> wow, I am flattered that you, of all people, think I'm that devious. But really, me, a cat burglar? <laughs> Please. I found a couture button by my computer beside a strand of blonde hair. I could tell by the split end it wasn't mine. What do you think you are, some kind of Prada ninja? Do you really just expect me to sit back and let my boss frame me for a crime that I didn't commit? I mean, seriously. All I've ever been is fiercely loyal. All I've ever done is worked my ass off to make you happy. I mean, why am I your crash test dummy? Because you have a proven track record of veering across moral lines. The perfect profile for a serial embezzler. <sighs> my god. How did I ever look up to such a desperate, washed-up bitch? Get out of my building. You're fired. Now who's the Prada Ninja? Do I look like a cat burglar? Well, you certainly don't look like the cable guy. Not that I have to explain myself, but Jane gave me the master key to check on all the pilot lights. Huh. I see. So you have no interest in the little wall decoration that used to be in here? 
What kind of wall decoration are you talking about? Oh, I don't know, just some old painting of a Dutch guy in a goofy hat. It's probably not worth that much. I was thinking I was gonna sell it on Craigslist. What do you want, Ella? Hmm. Oh, no. First, you can start by clearing my name in that silly embezzlement mess. Consider it done. Then, I can start my own publicity shingle, free and clear. Ellis Sims and Associates. <laughs> what do you think? Sounds promising. Good luck with that. I'm gonna need a little bit more than luck. I'll need financing, and that's where you come in. How much do you need? Well, it'll have to be in Beverly Hills, so probably a number with lots and lots of zeros. Oh, and I'll be taking my most buzzworthy clients with me. Fine. Give me the painting, Ella. The painting's all yours. After the paperwork is done. you want. I am so impressed. Oh, I bet. You never had much perseverance. Except, of course, in the case of the opposite sex. You know, all that money, it's not going to bring you a shred of happiness. Especially if you have no one to share it with. Yeah, well, I'm not big on sharing. I'm perfectly happy on my own. I told myself the same thing. Look where I ended up. Hello. I just came by to pick up the check. Oh, for that silly company of yours. I changed my mind. Did you forget a little thing called a contract that we signed yesterday? Well, I'm afraid you never read the fine print. It's null and void at my discretion. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure another firm will gobble you up if they're in the market for embezzlers.